What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Laughing Coyote. This is Cricket 19, and we have another fixture in the T20 World Cup all time 11s. We have India all time 11 today versus Sri Lanka all time 11. Both those teams have lost their first two games. And uh, the first game, by the way, for India was Pakistan versus India, which is a, well, you know, it's the biggest rivalry in the uh, in cricket. So if you missed it, well, go ahead, give it a watch. But uh, before we get into this game, though, I'm going to need you to do me a favor. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to get notified as soon as I upload. Also, if you can, hit that join button to become a channel member. Remember, when you become a channel member, you get an automatic entry into any of the fans' leagues that I do. Also, go ahead and follow me on my social media sites, Twitter and Instagram. I prefer Instagram, but Twitter will do uh, just fine as well. So yeah, go ahead and follow me there. That, that is where I communicate with people, and that is where I pick people for my leagues. All right, thank you to everyone who has become a channel member, and uh, do consider becoming a channel member yourself. I appreciate the support, and now let's get into the game. Melbourne Cricket Ground, the second largest stadium in the world, is where this game is going to be. All the games are in Australia, by the way. The host is Australia, uh, as it will be in real life whenever the T20 World Cup is. It was supposed to be in 2020, but I hear that it m they might postpone it to uh, 2021. But um, yeah, it will be on Australia regardless of when it is. And so that is why I went with Australia here. And also Australia have licensed uh, stadiums in the game. So it gives it sort of a realistic vibe. Here we go, a couple of that 1983 World Cup winner for India, captaining his side. And Mahela Jawardene, captaining uh, Sri Lanka. Legendary players right there, both of them. And uh, India have won the toss, and they have chosen to have a bat first. So they've put in Sri Lanka to bowl first. In the first game, they chose to bowl first, and it didn't really work out for them. So I guess they are trying something different here. And uh, let's see if it'll work out. Sachin Tendulkar and Virinder Sehwag, also known as Viru, will be opening the batting for India. But here we go. The Sri Lankans make their way into the middle first up. Kumar Sangakara will be behind the sticks as he passes the ball to Lasit Malenga, who will be opening the ball, having a chat with the skipper, finalizing things as Sewag and Tendulkar, or should I say Su Chin, comes out to open the batting for India. Right, Linga Ringa. First delivery to Su Chin. <laughs> it's just a dot. Let's go in a bit of room and he's picked it up well. That's a good shot. First delivery, Viru's hit for a four. That's just the aggressive kind of batsman he was. I'm not sure which World Cup it was, but one of the World Cups, I think every game he played, well, not every game, but to a certain point, he hit a boundary on the first delivery. I think it might have been the 2015 World Cup. I'm not entirely sure one of the World Cups, or maybe 2011, the one India won. I'm not, I don't know. Let me know if you guys know. There he goes again. Viru. It's a lovely shot. I picked sort of Ganguly, who I, to be honest, in my opinion, he's a bigger legend than Verinder Sawag, but uh, he just didn't really perform well in the last game. I guess it happens, you know, it's part of the game. Chaminda Vaas, such a great bowler. And Sachin Tendulkar has gone over the top. That's going to be a boundary. That's very good to see. He didn't really perform all that well in the last game. And um, he's a little maestro. I'd love to see him get going here. It's a very classy shot. In between gully and point, gone for four. Ajantha Mendes has been brought back into the attack. He was such a magician with the ball, much like Mathaya Murali Tharun, who will also get a chance here, as Viru plays a lovely sweep shot for four runs. It's a very good shot. Sawag's looking good, you know. I like that. I like that a lot. I guess I'm going to give him more games than Ganguly. I was hoping Ganguly would get more games because, like I said, I... I, I don't know. I, I thought he was a better player, but... He's also higher rated than Sewag in the game, but as we have found out in the previous leagues, rating doesn't really mean everything. There it is, Murali Dharan. Does it get any better than him, mate? He's gotten over 800 wickets in tests. That's just ridiculous. Oh! It's definitely not out, come on. 
fact that you appealed showed how desperately you want that wicket and I mean it makes sense it's Sachin Tendulkar it's the highest ever you know an ODI at least the highest amount of runs ever by any batsman well, it's a very lovely shot he was aware of the leg slip and I uh, made sure he played it over him and he's gotten four runs that's a short one lovely pick it's a lovely shot from Sewagi. He's having no trouble against Ajanta Mendes, which is very surprising because most batsmen have no clue which way the ball's going to turn. It's going to be too much room. There's a fielder on the cover, though. He will stop it from going to the boundary. They'll come back for the second one. That might not have been a great decision. In fact, it's not, and that's the end of Sachin Tendulkar. Oh, so unlucky. He, w he got out so early in the first game. And in the second game, this is how he gets out. It's it's pissing me off, you know. And I'm a Pakistani, but... Uh, it... Anyways. There we go. Look at that. There was never a second there, but it's all right. It's all right. It's part of the game. Going for 15 of 11. There he is, Virat Kohli. Now, he was incredible in the first game. Unbelievable batting from him. I hope he can continue here as well. Alrighty then. Verinder. He's like, don't forget about me, mate. He's looking fine. He's looking very good. I hope he can continue as well. Now, this is one of those bowlers that people don't really hear a lot about him, but he was very effective. But I'm going to hand it, that is. He has so many wickets. I didn't realize he had that many wickets. But yeah, he's just, he's one of those bowlers who's been under the radar, but he's got the job done. I mean, he's hes very similar to actually Kumar Sangakara now that I think about it. Not many people really rate him. Kumar Sangakara is very underrated, but if you look at his record, he's a very good wicket keeper, and he's got a lot of runs with the bat as well. There you have it. Rangana Herath have gotten Sewag out. That's what I mean. You know, he's not the flashiest. You won't see his name up there with the greatest of all time. But he always gets the job done, and that's what I like about him. He's here to play cricket and nothing more. No showbiz, no, no bullshit. Viru's gone. 34. Good innings comes to an end. Mohamed Azruddin. Very classy batsman seen him play a couple of times I really liked the way he batted now another thing people said was to play Rohit Sharma now I obviously am gonna play as Azruddin smashes that one into extra cover for four runs first runs for him yes obviously I'm gonna play Rohit Sharma as I do believe he is one of the greatest batsmen to come out, to have come out of uh, India so obviously I'm gonna he's in the squad for a reason I mean everyone who's in the squad is gonna get at least one game the problem is if you watch the previous league that I did Quite easily, the worst batsman in that league was Rohit Sharma, and that was very surprising to me, and that is the reason why I'm sort of holding back a little with, you know, allowing him too many games. But I, I will definitely eventually give him games, that's for sure. I just don't want to... Because I want good games. That's really what I want at the end of the day it doesn't matter who wins i mean it's a video game for crying out loud i don't take this shit seriously so i just want a fun game that's all i want and rohit Sharma have proved to be very much the opposite of fun in this game it's a good sweep let's play this straight to the fielder though i'm gonna push for the second one oh no 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 verat come on Azruddin is not young like you. He cannot run that way. You could tell Azruddin did not want. I was looking at the radar down there. Azruddin did not want that second run, but Virat pushed him to get that. Virat obviously made it. He's a he's a he's a proper athlete, and he's very young as well. Well, not that young, but you know. But it's Azruddin. He's, he's a bloody legend. He cannot run like that. Come on, man. Give him a break.
Sunil Gavaskar is out there in the middle now. Very good batsman. I've heard. I've never really seen him play because he, well, he was way before my time. But I've heard very good things from. Uh oh, that's the end of Virat. What is happening? India crumbling, and Sri Lanka on top. I love the model of Telekaratne Dilshan, by the way. They got his beard perfectly. <laughs> and Virat Kohli is gone as well. Sri Lanka on top. Like I said, Sri Lanka is one of the most OP side in this uh, tournament, so this was to be expected. There he is, Mr. OP. Number seven, Mahi. All right, let's hope these two can get going. Like I said, I expected this game to go in Sri Lanka's favor, but I never expected it to be this. Like this, you know, for down, for, uh, what? I can't even speak, that's how like surprised I am. <laughs> oh my goodness, MS Dhoni's gone as well and it's Rangana Harath, the guy I spoke of. See, this is what I mean. It's an absolute legend. And I was just gonna say, I don't remember which World Cup it was, but one of the World Cups where Pakistan and India played, where Junaid Khan took a few wickets, got Virat Kohli out early, as well as Gambir, and pretty much everybody. He lost like five wickets for like 80 runs, and then MS Dhoni came out and rescued India. I was just gonna say, is Dhoni gonna play another one of those iconic innings and well we've got our answer and the answer is well one that I kind of didn't want to hear but here we are it's part of the game it happens well, that's a very good shot it's a very good shot indeed oh and by the way I'm not saying I want Sri Lanka to lose it's not about who wins or who loses. like I said at the start I just want a good game and at the moment this game is not going to be good it's very one-sided it's a lovely flick of the wrist. Come on, Sunil, you've got this. Kapil and Sunil, two players that, like I said, I've not really seen them play in real life, but I've heard so much about them. So much, like, the amount of praises that I hear about these guys from my uncles, that's why I select them in every single game, because to me, they're like, you know, like, there's no better than them, you know, because that's just what I've heard from people. Obviously, people can exaggerate a bit, but... Okay, that's a very good shot. Is that a six? Okay, yes it is. Six number one of the day. And six number 106 after just eight games, by the way. <laughs> And the game is not even, well, it's not even half, we're not even a quarter into the game. Well, actually, that's the ninth, tenth over, so we are actually exactly a quarter way into the game. And there he goes. Over, Miroff. That's going to be four. All right. All right. India is uh, making a comeback. It's good to see. It's a good shot into the gap. Will the field be able to get to it excuse me I burped I don't know if you heard it or not but Mathaya Murli Dharan has been uh, given quite a treatment there Kapil okay he's gone it's a very smart field set and that catch is not easy too because he's really close to him and Kapil has gone for the slog sweep there that must have sting his uh, hands, but it's all right. He'll take it. It's still a Karat Nidalshan, to be honest. He's a wicket keeper. His hands are, are very much used to that. The wicket keepers have really hard hands. Anil Kumble now. He can bat a bit. And for India's sake, I hope they do. He do. He What? I'm unable to speak. I don't know what's going on today. My commentary is going to shit, and so is this game. Okay, straight to the fielder. Straight to the fielder. That's the end of uh, Anil. Another wicket down for India. India in all sorts of trouble, and they're just unable to get out of it. 
Sri Lanka just too OP, just too good. Gone for a duck. Expected him to score something. Not too many runs, obviously, but not a duck either. Ashish Nehara, there we go. Okay, there's a fielder. There's a fielder in play. Square leg. All right, he saved it. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Come on. <laughs> All right, here we go. You know, when they make one mistake, you can forgive it. But when they keep making those dumb mistakes, it just pisses you off. Lovely. There we go. Sunil Gavaskar. He's going to be the last hope. That's a good shot from Nehra. Look at that. Okay. Ashish is like, you know what, mate? Sunil and Ashish together. We're going to conquer the world. From in the vast. Oh, it's a very good shot from Ashish Nehra. Lovely bit of batting. It's another boundary now. It's a much needed boundary as well. Very good because it's going to relieve a bit of pressure. Oh, my goodness. Ashish Nehra has gone well. You know what, you've got to applaud whatever little he's done because he's not a proper batsman and he's facing Chamindavas, one of the greatest bowlers of all time. Ashish Nehra has done well. Well, for a tail ender, well enough. Let's just put it that way. Kumar Sangakara takes a lovely catch. Sunil at the other end, just when he was about to breathe a little, he's been put under even more pressure. Bish and Betty have given him a chance this time instead of Harbhajan Singh. And uh, let's see how well that goes. There he goes, Sunil Gavaskar. He's gone a bit slow, but he doesn't really have a choice. He cannot lose his wickets. I mean, they're losing wickets left and right anyways, but he has to keep his wicket. I love it, both these legends without a helmet, although at the moment they are facing a spinner, so it does make a little bit of sense there, but lovely bit of batting there from uh, Betty, that's gone for four. That's oh, a very cheeky shot. Is he going to go to the boundary? That's a very big boundary here at the MCG, so uh, it's not going to be easy to uh, clear the rope. I mean, they've only hit one six so far, so that should be enough to tell you how difficult it is to clear the rope here at the MCG. Full toss, and they'll take it. They'll definitely take it. They need every single run they can get. Yep. Oh, there he goes again. That's a very lovely cut shot. Another boundary. That's good. Well, there's a long way still to go. They're short by, I would say, about 60 runs. It's Herath again. It's Herath again. Oh, come on, Rangana Herath. Lovely bit of bowling. I praised him at the start, and that's the reason why. He's got Betty, though. He's not really a regular batsman, so... You can forgive him there, but... um, They're on their last wicket now. Seven runs of nine. He did whatever he could do. Jaspreet Bumra, modern day quickie. Labeled as the greatest pace bowler from India by many. It's also very quick, love his pace. And I, I like him, I definitely like him because he's got a bit of pace and I like, I like bowlers who's got a bit of pace, but the bowler that I really liked out of India was uh, Bhuvaneshwar Kumar. I loved him. The amount of swing he got wasn't the quickest. That's, I guess, one of the things that I was like, you know, I wish he had a better pace, but even without the pace, he's so amazing. I love him. I would say I like him more than Bumrah, but it's very clear that Bumrah is a better bowler. Gonna push for the second here. Bumrah wants to be back on strike. Sunil, oh he's gone after him, that's the end of Sunil. That is the end of Sunil and with him the end of the Indian innings, the abysmal, atrocious innings of India. Piss poor performance.
Unbelievable. Fairly certain the under-19 India team can score more than that. All right, keeping my emotions to the side. <laughs> You have to give credit where credit is due, though. Sri Lankan bowling has been spectacular today. Rangana Herat, Chamenda Vas, Mathai Murli Daran, Ajanta Mendes. I mean, when you look at that lineup, it's it's one that um, not many can cope with. And they've just proved it here against one of the greatest sides in this tournament. Ashish Nara will be opening the bowling for India today. I've given him a chance. But uh, here you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Before you say I fixed the Pakistan versus India game, well, there you go. At least that game was close. Sanajay Suri off the mark on the very first delivery. And they're going to get four. Is that four runs? I think they got three. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, they got three instead. I thought they got four. Waiting. Oh, he's, he's dropped it. He's dropped it. They, they have to hang on to those. They have to. When you're defending 130, you have to make every single opportunity count. You cannot drop that. You absolutely cannot drop that. Yes. Poor delivery. Too full, too wide. Not against a legendary batsman like Sanat Jaisuria. Love Sanat, by the way. Such a legendary batsman. Loved his aggressive approach to uh, the ODI format. Telekaratne Dilshan, very innovative player this time though, playing the oldest shot in the book. The cover drive and playing it to perfection. Yep. Oh, top edge, and even that's going to go for a four, maybe even a six. Oh, that's nearly gone for a six. But that's due to the pace of Jaspreet, that's why I love him. He's got a lot of pace. Oh my goodness. Oh, another drop catch. Another drop catch. This is just an abysmal performance from India. First with the bat, now in the field. Let's take a look. Oh, it was a catch. I thought maybe it would have landed before it got to him, but no, it was a clean catch. Well, if he had taken it, that is. Jai Surya. Such a classy batsman. I love him so much, man. There, like, obviously, my favorite batsman, all-time batsman, is Michael Hussey, and then currently I like Owen Morgan. But there's a special place in my heart for batsmen such as Jai Surya and Chris Gale and uh, Aaron Finch and, uh, you know, Lynn and Shahid Afridi, obviously, and Imran Nazir is another one from Pakistan. But yeah, I just love these uh, legends who really innovated the game. They were playing T20 before T20 even existed. Come on! Lovely bit of fielding. You've got to applaud that. That was going over the road for six. Oh my goodness. I think that is out. I think that's out. That is lovely. First, they've saved the six and they've got Jai Surya. They've got Jai Surya. Yeah, he's gone. Oh, he's gone. Now that's more like it. That is what you need, India. Come on, a bit of passion. I don't care if you win or lose. Play with a bit of passion. Yeah, Surya has gone with for 13. Now that hurts a little, I'm not gonna lie. Like I said, I loved him. Mahela Javardene, here we go. Skipper. Okay, come on! Catching opportunity again, but that's very difficult though. As a fastballer myself, I have to attest. Because when you're following through, it's very difficult to change your course. It's a good shot into uh, the gullyish sort of area. Well, it's between point and gully. I don't know what that area is called. But it's a very difficult shot for me to play in real life. Oh no, that's classy. Mahila Javardini. He was pretty good in the first game, and he's looking pretty decent here as well. Two deliveries, two fours. He's tried to go for the Yorker length. The delivery he's had uh, so much success with. But now he's missed his mark. Oh, straight down the ground. That's time from Telekaratne Dilshan. We're going to get to see the Dil scoop today. 
I don't think we saw it the last time around, or maybe we did, I'm not entirely sure. Yep. Okay, lovely. A little bit of luck is required to defend a total that small. And there you go, they got lucky. Telekaretne Delshan, a very dangerous batsman, has gone. He's gone for 17 of 16 deliveries. Kumar Sangakara. Love this man to bits. Very classy batsman, very good behind the sticks as well. And a very good skipper as well. It's a lovely backward punch between the two fielders. They're taking a conservative approach to this, which is the, the safer version, obviously. The safer approach. Because it is a small total, you can afford to just rotate the strike and not really take any risks. Yep. They're gonna take the risks, though. As soon as they get an opening, they're gonna lash onto it just like Sangakara did right there. Yep. What's a lovely flick of the wrist. The bowler wants the batsman to make a mistake, but how can you make him? How, how, how is that, how is that gonna happen? The batsman is not looking to score runs of every delivery. He's not looking to hit a boundary of every delivery because he doesn't need to. So in a situation like this, this is where you can separate the greatest from, you know, those who are just good. They removed Bishan Singh. He was, uh, he was right there, the delivery before. And if he was still there, that would have been out. Yep. Ooh, outside edge. Very unlucky for India, but such has been the story for them the entire day, really. Yep. Oh, that's a good shot. Don't worry about that. That's gone. Dispatched to the boundary for four runs. And I've not really seen a lot from Bishan. But I've heard a lot about him, and I've heard he's uh, one of the greatest spinners who have come out of India. Yep. It's a lovely flick of the wrist. I think that's going to go to the boundary for four as well. Yes, it will. Sanga moves on to uh, 16. It's yep. a good it. shot into the cow corner. There are a couple of fielders coming around it. Uh-oh, in the end, they've decided against the second run, but... Yes, no, yes, no. It's always, well for me at least, I always told my, when I was the captain of my team, I always told them, if there's a little bit of confusion in either one of the batsmen's mind, return. Do not go for the single. So uh, that's how we avoided runouts. And we did really well, to be honest, if I remember correctly. I think I've had one runout in my entire life. Like a really bad one. And actually, that's a story and a half, because I threw my bat at my partner. <laughs> Yeah, the umpire, the umpire took uh, five runs off of us. <laughs> yeah, that was quite a day. All right, Sango with another four. <laughs> yeah. I remember afterwards, the teachers coming in. I was in school and uh, telling me not to do that again. <laughs> that was such a, that was such a cunt. The teacher was like, he sat me down he was like, don't do that again, you could have hurt him. And I said, if he does that again, if he runs me out again, next time I'm going to make sure I hurt him. Like, I actually said that to the teacher. Can't believe the balls I had when I was younger. <laughs> Still remember his name. His name was Harun. Oh, and that's another wicket. Let's go. Sangha's gone. He's gone. Don't worry about the TV umpire. He's gone. I could tell. Lovely bit of work behind the sticks from MSD. Numero siete. Yeah, he's out. He is out. All right, maybe India can pull this off. I don't know. Three wickets down, a very important wicket in Kumar. Rasanar Arnold. It's the next batsman to come in. It's a lovely shot from Mahela. He's been in top form. He did really well in the last game as well. He's doing well here and... Uh, Hope he gets a half century, because we've uh, not seen that in this game yet. 
And that is uh, a bit sad. <laughs> It's a good shot, gone four runs. Don't bother running after that. The thing about my hill is he's he's picking the bowlers off really well because it's not just the fact that he's getting a lot of runs, it's that he's getting them in very few deliveries as well. So straight down the ground. Over mid on and onto the road for four runs. Good shot, there he goes. 43 has moved on to getting closer and closer to that half ton mark. Also, we've only had one six in this game. Good shot. Straight to the field, huh? And that's 100 runs up for Sri Lanka, having lost only three wickets. It's a good shot from Mahila Jawardena. That's going to go to the boundary for four, and with that, he'll get his half century in the first one of today it's almost the end of the game and we've just got our first half century i mean that should just tell you how crap this game has been there he goes into extra cover again lovely another boundary it's a good shot but there's a fielder coming under it and he's gonna drop it what the f what what is happening? I don't get it. What is happening? This is the third catch. Oh, really? That's what you do, couple, when you have three drop catches. I swear to God I would have drop kicked him if I was the captain. It's not a difficult catch. Look at that. That's what's pissing me off. It's a lovely shot. That's going to be four runs. 62 he moves on to and just three runs required now in the last six overs. It's a good shot. And with that Sri Lanka have won the match. Very well played. Very, very, very well played. They dominated the crap out of India. But India, boy you need to regroup. You need to go back to the dugout and you seriously need to consider your actions. A better plan will definitely be needed for India. It's not that they've lost two games in a row, that's not at all why I'm upset. It's that they've won so poorly. Like this is quite easily, this is going to go down as one of the worst performances in this tournament. And a performance like that from a team like India, that's just not what you expect, right? Big changes will have to be made in the next game for them. Because look, Australia lost their first two games as well. But they 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 fought with passion, so that's fine. I can accept that. Right, here are the stats. Um, still Abdul Razak at the top with Andrew Russell right behind him. And Shakib is there as well. As Chris Kane and Rangana Herit is climbed up there as well after just one game. And the battle is strong between the top three. Shane Watto is getting up there as well. He had a very good innings the last game he played. But it's looking good. Anyways, uh, I'm going to show you the table in a second. Let me know who do you think is going to make it through to the next round, the playoffs. And uh, yeah, my favorites. Uh, well, I've mentioned them before, but I think West Indies, England and Australia, who have lost first two games, by the way, I mentioned Australia are looking very OP, but we will see how things go down. Let me know in the comments down below who do you think are looking good. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do drop a like, hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos I upload. And uh, also hit that join button to become a channel member. Remember, when you become a channel member, you get automatic entry into any fans leagues that I do. And if you want to participate in the fans leagues, go ahead and follow me on my social medias as well. Instagram, Twitter, whichever one you like i prefer instagram but it's up to you whichever one you like i have both of them and i'm fairly active on both of them i'm more active on instagram obviously that's why i prefer it but uh and that's where most of my friends are too that's the reason why but um yeah either one will do actually and yeah thank you for watching and um yeah i'll see you guys in the next video until then have a nice